So we're working with this per product shipping WooCommerce plugin uh, for a clothing site. And I thought I'd do a brief little video, take you through the plugin and give you an overview of how it's all set up. Basically, there's two different things that you need to be focused on when you set up the plugin. There's the default options for shipping on a per product basis. And then there's the ability to override uh, individual products. So basically, if you go to WooCommerce settings, select the shipping tab, go ahead and find the per product link. Depending on future versions of WordPress, WooCommerce, and the plugin, your backend may look a tad bit different. Uh, but right now you can see I've set up the plugin and then I've set up uh, items to be $5 each so that when someone comes to the site, they add their item. And shipping comes back at five bucks per, per product. So we have three, it's 15, two, it's 10, and so on. So the next scenario is that you may wanna charge more or less for an individual product. And the way that you would override the default $5 setting in this case would be to get your product added, go ahead and pull up the product on the back end. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see this option for shipping. Go ahead and check this box to override the default settings. And then from here, it's a little bit more confusing. It's not too bad. You need to add a row. Depending on your cart settings, you may or may not need to touch these options over here. For ours, where you have a very simple setup, and I'm assuming most people using this plugin would probably be doing the same thing. Uh, so we just want to set this product up. We'll say it's heavier, it's bigger, to be $15 per item instead of our default 10. Added it here. Go ahead and update the item. And then I'm going to pull up the item and add it to the cart. So you'll see that this product is $15 for shipping. Bump it up to three, 45. So that's how you override an individual product with the per product shipping plugin. And uh, I just wanna say that I found the plugin to be pretty straightforward. It's simple and it, it does what we needed to do, uh, which is just have control of products on a per product basis for flat rate shipping. So for that, it's a really good option.